All right, everybody, welcome. I'm back. I missed everyone. Um, we're going to start in down dog today. So if you want to just make your way there, go ahead. And we're going to focus on belly back bends or prone back bends for April. So we're going to do some belly or prone back bends throughout our vinyasa, our flows, and then we're going to spend some time holding them and focusing on them a little bit um, after we do our step back series. So if you'd like to sit and take a breath or two, set an intention or dedication for your practice today. Inhale. Exhale, seal your intention on your heart. And then as I mentioned, we'll start in down dog. So go ahead and make your way there, lifting your hips, pressing your heels down, pressing your hands into your mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and take one more. Hips up towards the ceiling. Upper body is sent through your arms. On your next inhale, lift your right leg just hip height. Exhale, place it through to your lunge. Now find your long spine before you move in your lunge. So back heel presses back, crown of your head forward. Now drop your left knee down to the mat and lift your hands up. Tap your hands on your right knee. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Slightly tilt your left hip up towards your belly or towards your chest, elongating your spine. So your tailbone will lightly tuck. We don't really like to say that, but once you engage your hip, that'll happen. Your tailbone will lengthen. Cross into your knee and lengthen your spine. On your inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, just slightly bend into that front knee, but keep your left hip engaged. So we're not going fully in, we're not taking a full Anjaneyasana, just reaching up. Inhale, reach back, add a little back bend. Exhale, release both hands down to the floor. Tuck your left toes, lift your knee, step back, down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Lift your left leg, hip height. Please it through to your lunge. Take that pause to find your long spine. Back heel pressing the back, crown of your head forward. Now drop your right knee down. Lift your hands up, tap your left knee. Left knee this time. Engage your core and just slightly tilt your right hip. It's a really small movement. Once you do that, you should feel your quad engage. Reach your right arm up and then just a little bit sink in. So we're looking for that hip engagement, that quad engagement, working the front side of your right leg. Inhale, reach back, add a little back bend. Exhale, release both hands down. Tuck your right toe, lift your knee, step back, down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Look at your hands. Step, walk, or jump your feet to your hands and fold forward. Inhale, lift up, flat back, tap your shins. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees, reach arms back, lengthening your spine again, and then keeping your hips low, reach arms forward and up. You're in your fierce or chair pose. So pull your belly in. Again, lengthening your spine. So I could tell I was pressing mine out. I was causing that curve in my back. When you engage your belly, your spine will lengthen. Reach and settle. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach up. Exhale, forward and down, fold. Inhale, shoulders lift, hip height, flat back. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, arms reach back to your point. Exhale, forward and up, high crescent lunge. Reach for the ceiling. Settle a little closer to your mat. Then pull your core in again. If you want, you can tap it to really feel your core engage, feel your belly engage, and then reach back up. Take one more inhale. Exhale, plant your back foot. Find your warrior two. Nice strong warrior. Arms parallel to the floor, reaching forward and back. 
and flip your front palm and revolve your warrior. Keep that bend in your front knee and reach for the back of the room. Inhale, reach a little deeper. Exhale, cartwheel down to a twisted lunge. Right hand planted, your choice. Your left hand can tap your knee, your hip, or reach high. Take a full breath in to lengthen and a full breath out. Inhale, twist. Exhale, release your left hand down. Just step back, down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Modified vinyasa, come forward to your high plank. Drop your knees and lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Taking a cobra to engage our back body, press into your hands, press into the tops of your feet. Send your elbows and your shoulder blades up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release hands down, top toes. You can press right up to the down dog or you can always come through a tabletop. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, bring your knee into your nose, around your spine. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, hover your right knee into your chest and just pause for a moment. Do that again. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to chest like you're in a high plank. Pause. Now step it through to your lunge. Gaze to the front of your mat. Step forward and fold. Lift your flat back. Fold forward, bend knees, reach arms back. Reach forward and up, fierce or chair. Find that core engagement. Find that settling in your hips. Now bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna take a standing pigeon. Shift weight into your left foot. Pick your right ankle up and stack it on your left knee. Now use your inner thigh to press your right knee down towards your mat. You have a couple options here. You can hinge forward to have elbow to knee and elbow to heel. You can reach arms back, keeping heart and chest lifted. Or if you'd like, you can bring your hands to the floor. There's eventually an arm balance here. We won't take it today, but if you keep practicing, you can always try that. Just take one more breath in your standing pigeon. Slowly come back up. Hands to heart center. Unravel your right leg, reach both arms up, add a little back bend. Come forward and down, fold. Lift your flat back. Send your left foot back. Inhale, reach arms back, finding that rhythm of your breath. Exhale, forward and up, high crescent lunge. Core is engaged, again, you can tap it. Pull your core in, reach arms up. Inhale, exhale, plant your back foot, warrior two. Flip your front palm, reach up and back, revolve. Inhale, reach. Exhale, cartwheel down to your twisted lunge, left hand planted, your choice, right hand to your knee, your hip, or reaching up. Find that long spine, twist from your core. Release your right hand down. Step back, down, dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Modified vinyasa, come forward, high plank. You can always drop your knees as you lower all the way down. Taking a sphinx pose this time, slide your arms forward so your elbows are right in your shoulders. Tops of your feet press down, lift your heart and chest. Inhale, lift and press. Exhale, release, hands under shoulders. Again, you can press up to the tabletop first. You can tuck toes and find your down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, keep your hips up. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Really engage your core as you do this. Do that again. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to chest, belly point in. Now just step it forward. Keys to the front of your mat. Step your right foot forward and fold. Shoulders to hip height, flat back. Fold forward, bend your knees, reach arms back. 
Keep your core engaged and your hips low. Sweep up, fierce arching. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's come back to our standing pigeon. Shift weight into your right foot. Lift your left ankle up, stack it on your right knee. Now at the same time, sit your hips back and press your left knee down towards your mat. Your choice on the arm variation. See if you can sink a little lower, like you're sitting back onto that couch or onto that chair. Inhale, exhale. Walk your hands back to heart center. As you start to stand, unravel your left leg, straighten both legs, reach up, add a tiny back bend. Come forward and down, full. Lift to your flat back. Step your right foot back. Inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, forward and up, high crescent lunge. Take one inhale. Exhale, plant your back foot, find your warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Reach up and back. Now straighten your front leg, reach back a little deeper. Reach for the back of the room. Now come back to center, our arms to a T. Let's come into our straight leg triangle. Reach arms forward. You can always square your hips to the floor first. You can release your hand to a block if you have one, or to your shin. Square your shoulders, your heart and chest to the right, and reach up. Again, looking for that long spine. Take one more breath in your straight leg triangle. Lift yourself back up to standing. <laughs> Don't fall like I almost did. <laughs> Turn your toes in. We're coming to a wide-legged forward fold. Flip your palms up. Lift your heart and chest. You can allow your back to arch. Then pull your core in. Take that arch out of your back as you hinge forward. Once you're parallel with the floor, release your hands to the mat. You can release them to a block. Keep a long spine, but tilt and shift weight forward. So into the balls of your feet, lift your hips. I want you to feel like you're gonna tip over, but let your legs hold you. You can always reach for calves or ankles as well. Take one more breath. Bring arms out to a T or hands to hips. Lift yourself up to standing. Turn your left toes forward. Bend into your left knee, warrior two. Cartwheel down just to a regular lunge this time. And then step back to your high plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees down. Lower yourself all the way down. Let's take a full locus this time. Arms by your sides, spider to the fingers. Lift your heart and chest, lift your arms, then lift your legs. Press your hips down, lift up, release hands under your shoulders. Again, you can press up to knees, you can come right up to the down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, round. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to chest and hold. Now bring your ankle slightly forward. Like we were gonna come into a pigeon pose like we were about to release, but instead of releasing down, just hold this. It's almost like a floating pigeon. Inhale, exhale, right leg high. And then place it through to your lunge. Ease the front of your mat, step forward and fold. Find your flat back, tap your shins. Fold forward, bend knees, come right up to your fierce or chair. Settle. Straighten legs and reach both arms up. Let's take a dancer's pose. Keep your left arm high. Bring your right arm out to the side. Take your right foot back to catch your foot. Take a pause, find that steadiness in your left leg. Find length through your left side body and then start to hinge in. Take 
Take one more full round of breath. Find your dancers. Slowly bring your knees back together and release your foot. Take a nice back stroke or windmill of your arms. Land in conscious mountain pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, reach up. You can add a back bend. Exhale, forward and down, full. Find your flat back. Bend your left foot back. Inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, forward and up. High crescent lunge. Reach and pull your belly in. Plant your back foot. Find your warrior two. Flip your front palm. Reverse your warrior. Straighten your front leg. Find even more reach. I'll bring arms back to a T. Coming into our straight leg triangle. Again, you can set up your block. You can square your hips if you prefer that option. Release down and then square your body to the left. Use your legs to ground you. Find length through your spine. Take one more breath. Nice and slow with control. Lift yourself back up. Turn your right toes in, coming back to our wide legged forward fold. Flip palms, open heart and chest. Palms back down towards the floor. Core is engaged. Come forward. Release your hands to a block or to your mat. This time you can allow your spine to round. You can let your head hang. Maybe reach arms underneath you. Tip weight forward. Lift your hips. Bring your hands back underneath your face. Hands to a T or hands to your hips. Lift yourself back up. Turn your right toes forward. Just tap the warrior two for a moment. Cartwheel down, regular lunge. Step back, high plank. Your choice, you can take any variation we've already taken. You can come through a chaturanga. You can always lift right up to the down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Lift your left leg high. Bring your knee to your nose, round. Send your left leg up. Hover your left knee into your chest. Then bring your heel in. Again, like we were gonna drop to a pigeon, but instead we're gonna hold this. Strong core, inhale. Exhale, left leg high. Place it through, peek at the front of your mat. Step forward and fold. Shoulders lift to hip height. Fold forward, keeping knees bent, sweep right up for your slow chair. Settle. Straighten legs, reach both arms up. Coming into our dancers, right arm stays high. Left arm comes out like you're holding a tray. Catch your left foot behind you. Take a pause. When you're ready, hinge in. I love dancer's pose because there's kind of a lot going on, but it's all beneficial for your body. So heart opening, back bend, balancing on one leg, strengthening those leg muscles. Take one more breath in your dancers. Bring your knees back together. Release your foot. Back stroke or windmill your arms. Land in your conscious mountain pose. Full breath in, full breath out. Bring your hands to heart center and step your feet out the width of your mat. You're gonna take a nice yogi squat. So want your knees kind of pointing out towards your toes. Sink your hips down, let your knees track towards your toes and catch your elbows in between your knees. Press palms, lift your heart and chest. And find that length in your spine again. Take one more breath. And then release your hands to the mat. Start to lift your hips, walk your feet back in hip distance and find a forward fold. Hold it for a breath or two. You can grab elbows. 
You can hide the arms underneath your leg or behind your legs, elbows behind your knee creeps. You can shake your head yes or shake your head no. Unruffle your fold. Lift your hands up, tap your shins. Your choice, you can step, hop, or jump yourself back to a high plank. Inhale, high plank. Hold on the exhale, find that core. Take one more inhale. Exhale, you can tap knees or lower yourself all the way down. We're gonna hold our prone back bends, as I mentioned. So just take a breath before we start there. Gaze to the right, left ear and left cheek to your mat. Starting with a cobra pose, bring your forehead to center. Slide your hands to about mid rib. Press into hands, press into feet, and lift your heart and chest. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. So let them retract back and down. Elbows up towards the ceiling. Press, lift your heart and chest. Just keep your gaze at that front of your mat. Don't strain your neck. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release all the way down. Switch your knees to the left. Bring your forehead back to center. Lift your heart and chest to get your elbows under your shoulders, coming back to our sphinx. And again, we'll hold it for a few breaths this time. So forearms pressing down tops of your feet pressing down. Now press into your forearms and without moving your arms, I want you to make the action of your elbows pulling back. So you're gonna press down and pull them back, but they're not gonna move. This is just gonna help us engage. Now do the same thing with your feet, tops of your feet pressing down. Act like you wanna pull your feet in, but they're not gonna move. Lift your heart and chest. Take one more breath in your sphinx, lift, release everything down, gaze to the right. Arms by your sides, just take a few relaxing breaths. Forehead back to center, let's come into a full locust. Arms by your sides, spider tip fingers. Lift your heart and chest. Press the tops of your feet down, lift your arms up. Now without losing this lift in your upper body and your heart and chest, just lift your legs. So lifting from both ends, your hips are grounding down. Reach back, see if you can lift legs a little higher, heart and chest forward, release everything down, gaze to the left. Bring your forehead back to center. You have two options here. You can take another full locust if you'd like. Maybe you interlace hands at your tailbone and press back to lift up to help your heart and chest get higher. Or you can bend your knees, reach back for your ankles or the tops of your feet for bow pose. If you're taking bow, squeeze your knees in to about hip distance and then press back to lift up. If you're catching your ankles, I want you to flex your feet so the bottoms of your feet are pressing up towards the ceiling. If you have the tops of your feet, press your feet into your hands. So it's really just personal preference, whatever works better for you. Lift your heart and chest, kick back, lift up if you're in that full locust. Everyone come up full expression, release everything down, gaze to the right, Option to keep your knees bent and windshield whip your legs side to side. Release your legs, bring your forehead back to center. Slide your hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. Press your elbow up to your high plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, hips up, down, dog. 
Full inhale, full exhale. Lift your right leg high. Bend your knee and take your toes over to the left. So finding a nice hip opener here. You can roll out your ankle, flex your foot. Bring your right leg back to center, nice and high. Come up on the ball of your left toes and then bring your right knee through to your lunge. Drop your left knee down. We'll come into our pigeon. Walk your right leg across your mat. Release your right knee. Walk your left toes back. Lift your heart and chest. And then start to lower down. You can come onto forearms. You can rest your head on a block. You can walk your arms all the way forward and release to your mat. Try to let that focus just be on your breath. Letting go of anything else. Letting go of tension. Letting go of thoughts that are bubbling up. Just focusing on that inhale and your exhale. Always letting your breath guide you through your practice. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Start to walk yourself back up into your hands. Once you're there, lift your heart and chest. Tuck your left toes behind you. Send your right leg high. And then release it down to your mat. Full breath in, heels press towards your mat. Full breath out. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, fan, open your hip, toes go to the right. Try to keep your left shoulder squared so I can feel my shoulder coming back. You wanna keep your shoulders squared, your upper body down towards your mat. Bring your left leg back to center, come onto the ball of your right foot, place it through to your lunge. Drop your right knee down. Walk your left leg across, come into your pigeon. Pigeon does not work for you. You can always take it 90, 90 sit. I should have said this on the other side. So front leg parallel to your mat and then back leg parallel with your hip. Or you can always come onto your back and take the thread of the needle. Bring yourself into the pose and bring that focus back to your breath. Breath is a tool that's always there for you. It can truly be your anchor. If you're in a stressful situation or an anxious situation, if you're able to recognize when your heartbeat starts to race or starts to just increase, it doesn't even have to be racing, just starting to increase. If you take nice deep breaths, you can slow it down. You can regulate your body a little bit better maybe regulate your emotions. Use that anchor, take one more full round of breath. Walk yourself back up into your hands. Lift your heart and chest, peek up. Tuck your right toes, send your left leg high, release it down to your mat. Down dog, full breath in. Full breath out. We're gonna add a little down dog twist. So separate your feet just about hip distance. Send your heels down towards your mat, upper body through your arms. Lift your right hand up and take it to your left ankle. Then try to twist slightly, just squaring your body to the left. You can bend your right knee a little bit if it helps you. Inhale, peek up between your armpit. Exhale, right hand forward, just take a nice down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Switching it out, lift your left hand, take it to your right ankle, add that little twist. 
Again, if you'd like, you can bend your left knee. And sometimes that helps to get your right heel closer to the mat. For some people, it throws them off. So just try, see what works for you. Inhale, peek up past your armpit. Exhale, come back to the down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Look at your hands. Walk your feet to your hands. Sit back on your mat and lay all the way back. Send your left leg long. Pull your right knee into your chest for a single knee to chest. Flex both feet to protect your knees. Squeeze your knee in. Take one more inhale, squeeze. Exhale, bring your right knee to center. Tap the outside of your right knee with your left hand and take it across your body for a twist. Right arm comes out to the side. You can gaze to the right. Scoot your hips if you need to. So I wanna make sure your hips are stacked. So sometimes you just need to scoot your bottom hip over a bit. Take one more full round of breath. Bring your right knee back to center. Bend your left leg, foot on the floor, and send your right leg high. So your left foot is just there for support. Interlace by here your hands behind your knee or your calf, and then lift your upper body up, trying to get your forehead closer to your knee. So normally we would do a standing head to knee. This is like an inverted standing head to knee, just doing it on our backs. Lift up, release all the way down, press your hands into the mat, flex your foot, lengthen your right leg, and slowly lower it all the way down to your mat. Send your left leg to meet it for a moment, take a full round of breath. Pull your left knee into your chest, single knee to chest. Flex both feet. Find that compression in your hip. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, left knee back to center. Tap the outside of your left knee with your right hand. Take it across your body. Scoot your hips if you need to. Left arm out to the side. Bring your left knee back to center. Bend your right leg, foot on the floor, knee bent, just there for support. Send your left leg high. Interlace behind your knee or your calf, leading with your upper body, lift up. Inverted head to knee. Lift a little higher, maybe tap forehead to knee. Release your upper body down, palms press into the floor. Nice and slow, lower your left leg all the way to your mat. Send your right leg to meet it. Take a full round of breath. Put both knees in for a double knee to chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Press your tailbone down to the mat. Tuck your chin slightly. Make sure you have a nice long spine. Squeeze everything in, lengthen. Take your feet up towards the ceiling for a happy baby. You can rock side to side if you'd like. You can kick both legs out for a straddle pose. Come back to a double knee to chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then send your knees to 90 and catch right underneath your knees. Take a couple of rock and rolls. Bring yourself up to seated. Take your legs nice and wide. We're gonna take a wide-legged forward fold seated. So bring your hands forward, spine is nice and long, and then start to walk yourself forward. 
You can allow your spine to round whenever you need to. Again, if you have that block, you can always bring your forearms to a block if it helps. Try to keep your toes up towards the ceiling. So depending on your uh, body structure of your hips and your femurs, your legs might roll out or roll in. So just try to keep them slightly up. They don't have to be completely centered, but don't let them roll out too much or roll in too much. Take a full round of breath. Walk yourself back up into your hands. And then let's go over to the left. So right arm comes up and over to catch your left foot. You can take your right hand to your knee if you'd like. You can keep it centered. Try to gaze at your right big toe, maybe even up through your armpit. Inhale. Exhale, work your way back up. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take it to the other side. Left arm out and over. Try to catch your right toe. If you can't catch your toe, you can hang out here and that's fine. You don't have to make connection. And then again, your left hand can tap your knee, can stay centered. Gaze at your left big toe or through your armpit up towards the ceiling. Find that little twist and then come back up to center. Walk yourself back up into your hands, sit up nice and tall, and then bring your legs back to center, bend your knees. You know I like a good windshield wiper, so go ahead and windshield wiper your legs side to side. Sit up nice and tall for a moment, catch your knees, and then slowly roll yourself back. Send your legs long. If there's any pose we missed that you feel like you need, you can take it now. We do have time to do legs up the wall if you'd like. So if you have a wall handy and you'd like to take legs up the wall before you come into Shavasana or during your Shavasana, just slide either side of your hips, doesn't matter which side, up and towards the wall. Then start to let your upper body come back and kick your legs up as your heels come into the wall. Then try to send your legs long. Flex your feet. If you'd like to add your arms, you can take your arms up and then just let your uh, hands flop. So just from your wrists, some people call this zombie arms because it's like you're a zombie. Just let your arms fall. If your arms get tired at any point, you can release them down. If your legs get tired at any point, you can come into Shavasana. So I'm gonna leave all of this up to you. When you're ready for Shavasana, just find it. And as usual, I will bring you out with three rings of the bell.
you're still on legs up the wall, just roll to either side. You can stay right there in fetal position. If you made your way to Shavasana, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, bring awareness back into your body. Hug your knees into your chest. Reach your right or left arm back and roll onto that side. Also coming into fetal position, our position of brand new beginnings. Recall the intention, purpose, or dedication you set in the beginning of your practice. The beautiful part about mantras or purposes is that you always have the option to set a new one. So decide right here if you'd like to set a new one to take you through the rest of your Monday or the rest of your week. Press yourself up to seat in. Bring your hands to heart center. Keeping the eyes closed, tuck your chin or you can glance down at your fingertips. As we bow, let's recognize the peace and light within each and every one of us. Thank you everyone, beautiful practice. It was great to be back in person and hopefully I'll see you all next week. Feel free to say hi if you'd like.